Welcome back to the show. I'm Ben Irwin and this is the news in under two minutes. Good news ladies, that's not the only thing I can do in less than two minutes. What? Time's valuable and I respect that. First on deck, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo on Monday urged state lawmakers to downgrade the possession of 25 grams or less of marijuana from a misdemeanor to a violation. The relaxation <coughs> plans to limit the number of people who could be busted for possession and make the maximum fine $100. NYC Mayor Michael Bloomberg announced his support for the measure yesterday. So wait, let me get this straight, Mr. Bloomberg. You want to relax the stinky weed laws, but I can't walk around NYC with a 24 ounce big gulp? God, I hate New York. And no, Bloomberg's efforts to outlaw large servings of sugary beverages are not gaining any traction either. Also in the news, the trial of Penn, former Penn State football coach Jerry Sandusky continues. In Monday's developments, the judge told accusers of sexual abuse to put up or shut up. Put up. Get it? <laughs> put up a rim shot. Once the case gets to trial, the victim's identities will no longer remain anonymous, according to the ruling. Sandusky has pled not guilty to all of the charges against him. Speaking of kid touching, yesterday Facebook unveiled technology that could allow kids under 13 years old to use the social networking juggernaut. I'm going to stop right there. I'm probably going to get sued for that one. Speaking of getting sexy, congratulations to the new Miss USA. Right here, Miss Rhode Island, Olivia Culpo. Gentlemen, feast your eyes. God, I'd do a line of bath salts on her belly. Hey, if you don't know about bath salts, I linked a video up about them below. They're new, and they'll make you trip balls. But I I'm just saying, I'd do all kinds of nasty things on it. Never mind. Finally today, the bisexual porn actor who was wanted for the murder and dismemberment of a guy named Jun Lin in Montreal was caught in Berlin yesterday, ending the worldwide manhunt. This is him right here, and he goes by the name of Luca Rocco Magnata. If you don't know, he was the one who mailed body parts to the offices of Canadian political parties. The gift wrapping, by the way, looked fabulous. <laughs> Fierce. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the show for today. Thank you so much for watching. Not bad for a quickie, right? Hey, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.